welcome back guys in this video we are going to see how we can update our app while the app is in closed testing so firstly open your play console and here i am opening mine and you can see the first app this is in closed testing the file manager one and today i am going to update this app when it is in closed testing you can see here the closed testing is going on here go to manage track and from here you can see the summary or you can manage this release you can see here the release version is 1 and we will update this to another version so you can also check this here you can see every details now let's make a new release firstly go back to close testing and here you can see the option create new release in the top right corner so click on it and you can see you have to upload a new bundle file here you can see we don't have any bundle file in library so we will have to upload here for this we will have to create one new bundle file this is old one so in order to create a new bundle file we will have to give it another version so open your android studio and inside this you know how to create the app bundle then it is good if you don't know how to create app bundle just follow the steps so firstly go to your gradle build file the module 1 and here change this version code to 2 and this version name to 1.1 .1. or you can name it anything you can name it as 2 also i am giving here 1.1 .1. so after changing the version you will see a sync now option in top right corner you have to press that my project is already synced so i will click on ignore but you have to click on sync now so after your project gets sync just go left side in top option and go to build and here you can see the generate signed apk option Cl click on app bundle and you can see here this is creating an app bundle for our app so now here it is asking for key store path so you don't have to create new just go to choose existing and select the jks file which was created recently so click on it and go to ok and click on next and you have to create this for release and click the release and go to create so after some time it will get created wait for some time so our app has created the bundle is created you can click on here locate and this is our new bundle so we have to upload this bundle on our console account so let's minimize it and go to our console account close this also and go to console account here in app bundle upload the bundle which we created recently this is the bundle you can see the time and date modified just click on open it is uploading the bundle wait for some time so our bundle has uploaded and now you can see the version is 2 which we gave it and it is 1.1 and you can see all the details here when you scroll down and click on next you can see it is showing a warning and let's ignore this warning for now and you can see this and the red error is showing that the size of our app has increased from the previous version and this version is 696 kb larger than the previous size so click on save 
and click on go to overview now in overview you can send one change for the review and click on send changes for review so now this will process our app it will check if our app is safe or not and now you can see go to all app and you can see here the app update status is in review which means our app is in review state right now and after 6 to 7 hours the review state will be gone and the testers can install the new version of our app so thank you for watching the video